lovely people, it's Ethany and I'm back to do another create your own oracle card video. It's been a hot moment since I have done one of these, uh, but I had some time and some energy. So today, as always, I'm using some old backing from samples that I got for my Bad Bitches Tarot. I get a lot of people asking about where I got these from and you can't just get these from a store like this. These were a print sample, so I'm utilizing them, but you can always use any kind of cardboard um, or repurpose oracle cards that you don't use. And I've mentioned Dawn Michelle a lot from Boho Tarot. She does a lot of great videos on that, so you can go and check her channel out. So I've got two of those. I actually made these stamps with labels from the dollar store and then I st stained them with um, Ranger, the Ranger inks, if I can find one. So uh, these ink sprays and then I uh, put a bunch of stamps on them. Obviously that's a white one, not the tea brown one that I used. And I've got a bunch of stickers. I'm actually, there's another sheet of stickers that I made myself. I'm actually using stickers from uh, Pimper, <laughs> Paper Mint, Minty Studio called Magical Forest for this, these two cards that I'm gonna be making. And I'm also going to be, oh bother. Oh, I'm gonna, hopefully using words from the Tim, Holtz Ideology uh, little pack here for the words. I've gone through my stickers and I've grabbed a bunch. I actually made these with tea stained labels and then I used my dye machine to cut them out. I have a like a one you have to rotate. So I've gone through and picked things out from everything that I've got that kind of matched the color palette that I wanted to do. Uh, which is going to be this olive kind of green with gold um, and brown. Uh, yeah, I guess let's get started. Now I've got a bunch of stuff everywhere. And I'm going to speed it up, put some music on, and uh, I've got some more dyes, some scraps of paper, you know, little moths, all sorts of fun things. So we're going to, and this is what I do at the beginning, by the way, I always grab something that kind of is like a little mood board-esque sort of situation so that I know what I'm going for, whether that's just colors or, or any sort of inspiration. So we're gonna go ahead using the Magical Forest. This is not at all promotion um, for, like paid promotion from Paper Minty Studios. I just really love <laughs> her creations. So we're gonna use them today and uh, yeah, let's get creating.
so here is the final product. I still have a ton of <laughs> stickers and stuff that I didn't use. I actually used quite a bit from this um, for Magical Forest sticker sheet, which I'm very proud of myself because usually I tend to stick a hoard. Um, I'm not... Um, I never know how these things are going to go, um, how they're going to sort of end up looking. Um, this, as I say that, I'm kind of still wanting to add something to this one. So I always, um, you know, just as surprised or as to what the outcome of these are going to be. Uh, I really like both of them. They're very different to what I normally do um, in regards to, oh my gosh, I'm so bad. I get like, I put the sticker down and then I'm like, I should know better. <laughs> and I have ply, like tweezers somewhere, but I don't know what I've done with them. Um, I never know what these are going to look like. I always just sort of go with what I feel will um, goes with it and, and play around with it. Like I was going to put this on the second one and then I changed my mind and got my butterfly flower uh, stickers out and as you saw from that I have a problem. I've got lots of stickers and I was going to cut the white around this one um, but I couldn't get into the fine details of the, the legs and the antennae so I just left it uh, but these are very kind of different to what I've done before but I really do like that that they're different so now all I have to do is edge them um, as you can see because I pulled these up that's coming off but I can just glue that down those Tim Holtz stickers man they have got a strong adhesive on the back of them so this is going to be my forest dreams set I think in regards to what I'm going to call it on my series. Um, yeah, and then I just use a little, this one is a corner rounder that I got off of, it's very loud, off of uh, Amazon many moons ago. It's very tough, it can go through quite a few and it collects everything in here. So. Uh, so now that they've been edged, they can go into the file with the rest of them. And I really like the way that they turned out. I, I just really like creating and collaging. And now that I've done this one, I can begin bringing some things out to create my next ones. Because I just got some new supplies come in and I really want to play with those. I hope you enjoyed watching, even if it was just a while you were having your coffee. Oh, this is another. I also made these stickers from uh, dot stickers from the dollar store, and then I just put uh, paint on them and glitter. So you can always make your own if you don't have a bazillion stickers like some of us do, like me, because I clearly have a problem. Um, and I will see you all next time.